Okay, so I've had a lot of people ask, how do I set the guts on the flute? And it's gonna vary flute to flute. It's gonna vary by the guts you have. But generally with goose guts, um, in any goose call or goose flute or whatever you're using, it's gonna be fairly, fairly similar. So um, pull these guts out here. Uh, some goose guts you're gonna see, they will have um, a gut cert that actually has little tabs back here and the reed will be notched so that it sits in those tabs. And they're nice for newer goose callers because um, they're kind of pre-tuned so to speak. Um, and you can just kind of slide the wedge around to manipulate uh, the break and the tone a little bit. But um, this one doesn't have that. So what I'm going to show you with this one is, is you're going to take your bottom of your guts right here, or your guts, okay? And with this, if you look here, okay, you can see... This is the the opening in the, or the channel in that gut. So we're gonna slide that reed up so it's just, just covers up that channel there. Um, so like I said, slide it up. We want it to just cover the channel and you'll notice here in the back, it's actually hanging off of there slightly slightly so that's okay that's what we want because remember i'm setting this up so that it sounds how i want it to now with the right way this reed is cut it's cut so that this the top piece of the wedge fits on there on the cut so you want to keep if your reeds cut like this you want to keep that wedge kind of on that reed like that and then i'm just going to push it into the call here so um guts usually fit pretty tight you don't want to over tighten them in there one because you if it's a, a wooden call or if it's um you know maybe an older call you could risk cracking um the call apart but the other thing is too is you know you have to you know especially if you're setting your own reeds for your first time you're gonna have to play around with this a little bit and we don't want the guts to be getting stuck in there and you gotta do whatever you have to do to get them out so we have that set. Now let's see how it sounds. So with it set like that, I have some pretty good sound coming out of it. Um, I almost want to bring that wedge back just a little bit. So we're going to try doing that. And typically the further back you take the wedge, it'll... It'll have some more break to it sometimes because there's more reed there exposed and it'll be it'll be a deeper sound. So whenever you're tuning goose calls or duck calls, the longer the reed, the deeper the sound's gonna be. The shorter it is, the high, more high pitched it's gonna be. So this will have a little bit more of a deep honk to it with it set like that. Let's give it a try. <laughs> pretty happy with where that's at there it has a nice break to it um good sound so i'm gonna keep that like that make sure this is in there tight like i said you don't want to over tighten that in there because then it's a pain to get out but um at this angle right here you can kind of see that reed is just barely hanging over the front of that tone channel and that is how you want your reed set on your goose call so and then depending on what style gut you have in there <clears throat> you might have to play around with where the wedges location is but um i would say from the goose calls that i've built and tuned generally it's about half or um probably a little more than half uh way up this here so if this is the reed and the reeds this length you know we want it to be a little more than half favoring this side of the gut there so any more questions just go ahead and feel free to drop a comment and i'll see if i can help you out